Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today last method of correlation that is concurrent deviation method, concurrent coefficient of deviation also we can say. This is one of the easiest method out of all the correlations. How to calculate this? This is mainly based on the direction, how the direction is going on. Means we will be giving the plus or minus signs to each and every number and according to that we will go for the calculation simplest easiest method just focus for 5 minutes you will understand everything. Let us see what is the formula first concurrent deviation method rank correlation only this is rank correlation of concurrent deviation RC will say RC means C means concurrent RC is equal to plus or minus root of plus or minus into 2C minus n by n plus or minus root of plus or minus this we can remember. Now what you have to remember is 2c minus n by n say 2c minus n by n that is all simple formula. We will see a problem easily you can understand. The problem is here calculate coefficient of concurrent deviation. Now here x values are given output output of x y is unemployed how many unemployed are there for x output ok like uh, unemployed it is here total x and y is given to us. Here as per the formula 2c minus n by n what are the uh, columns are required in the table is dx dy and dx into dy. How do we do this dx just focus carefully dx you are taking the base number 8.5 compared to 8.5 9.2 is more or less more more means we will put here plus. In the same way compared to 9.2, 9.3 is more or less, more or less, more means plus. Each number you are comparing with the next number only. Now this is comparing with the next number 9.3 to 8.5, 8.5 is less. So minus, now 8.5 to 7.2 less means minus signs we are giving more will put plus less means minus. Now this one minus this is also minus and compared to 5.1 6.6 is more so plus here also plus this is minus plus plus. This one first number we are not going to put any sign because that is the base with that base we have given all the plus or minus signs positive or negative in the same way now here dy also 60 is the base compared to 60 65 is more so plus so compared to 65 61 always remember we are comparing with the next number only like this not 60 is not the base for all the numbers no ok now uh, 65 to 61 if you compare 65 to 61 61 is less so minus here 61 to 74 plus this is 9.92 92 is more plus here also more plus here is less minus 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 this is plus minus minus now dx into dy dy this is nothing is there so this column also will leave it empty plus into plus comes to plus plus into minus 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 into plus minus minus into plus minus minus into plus minus minus into minus comes to plus you know na basics in school level we have learned minus into minus comes to plus minus into uh, plus into minus is minus plus into minus is minus plus into minus minus and plus into minus 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 altogether how many plus we have only 1 and 2 so c is 2 as per the formula 2c minus n by n na? c is here how many plus are there that is c we are finding 2 plus so c is 2 if suppose 3 then 3 plus are there we will take 3 number only based on the positive value positive values we have only 2 1 and 2 so c is 2 <coughs> excuse me next n 
n is here actual numbers if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 are there but how many signs we have taken only 11 first number we left it so that is why now n is you can write it here n is equal to 12 minus 1 it is 11 only are you getting it it is 11 only because out of 12 bar number we did not take that is why we are minusing n is 11. Now we will apply in the formula shall I work out here formula or otherwise we will do it there only formula already written over. So rc is equal to plus r minus root of plus r minus into oh, in brackets we can write 2 into c, c is here 2 minus n is 11 by 11 by n, n is 11, both the sides 11, so 11 I have written, c is here 2 and 2 already written in the formula, plus or minus root of plus or minus, 2 to the 4, 4 minus 11, 4 minus 11 is minus 7, 7 by 11. Seven divided by eleven. It comes to zero point six three. If you remove the root, it's coming to zero point seven nine eight. Zero point seven nine seven seven means eight. We can take if we take three numbers. Let me explain. It's a very simple problem. Oh, nothing to worry. Formula remember. Root or my uh, plus or minus root of plus or minus into 2c minus n by n ok. So, here x values are given y values are given dx we have to find out dx is giving the signs only dx and dy also we are giving the signs dx how do you get this is the base number. So, we are not putting any sign with this base number we are going to get next sign this is less this is more so plus value and compared to this this one is more so plus value like you, you have given signs. In the same way dy also first number is we left it empty and second number 60 to compare with 60 65 is more plus compared to 65 61 is less so minus like you got dy also. Now dx into dy you know calculation plus into minus comes to minus plus into plus comes to plus minus into minus comes to plus remember this as per that we have done calculations plus into plus plus minus into plus plus minus like everything we have done. So, altogether uh, you are finding plus value one time here and second time here, 2 plus only. So, c is 2 and n also total n number of observations are 12, but we have taken signs for 11 only that is why n is equal to 12 minus 1, 11 it is ok. Now, applied in the formula, answer is this is clear. If you understand this problem, same problem without looking at the book, look, without looking at the solution, you work out and see. If you are getting answer, write it in the comment box and also try some other problems from your test book. If you work out more, you feel that confidence also. By the way, today I have completed correlation chapter. Happy? Understood? Please practice more times. And also there are many subjects which covered already in our channel, check out it and do share these videos with everyone. Practice well and stay connected, have a bright career, good luck.